Hey folks, Skullgrim140 back to do another video. Uh, before I can start on the video itself, I just want to say one thing. It's spring. At last, it's finally spring. And one th one good thing about spring is that it's the weather here always gets so warm, especially in the UK. Um, and I know I know I should be outside. I know I should be doing something else, and I probably and I will at some point. But for now, I just want to get this video out of the way because. As, comp as you can probably already tell, either by the title above or the description box below, um, this is my hundredth video, and I'm surprised that I've even got this far in video making because I thought I would only just put out the very occasional video and that would be that. But um, but I just want to say to all of my old and new subscribers on YouTube, to all of my friends I've made. Um, Thanks for sticking with me for this long, and I hope you found me entertaining and informative. And for those of you who don't think I'm entertaining, good, good, good for you, because everyone, is, everyone is acquired, everyone is acquired to their own taste. But I was thinking what to do for a hundredth video, and I and I came up with a few ideas that I didn't think would be good. Um, I was thinking about doing a collection video, but I haven't reached. Uh, the motivation to actually come up with the with a video for that yet. At some point I will, but for now, other things just come up and go. Uh, I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing some collection videos, but since then the motivation hasn't sprung, it hasn't been hasn't been brought up. So instead, and as you can already tell, I'm doing another um, uh, pimping, promoting, whatever you want to call it. Because again, there are more. There are some people on YouTube who are really good at what they do, and who I enjoy watching. And I don't think get enough subscribers and get enough attention. And I think now is the right time to do so. And if you're wondering what's banging, if you, I don't know if you can hear it, but my door's banging. So no worries. Uh, so uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, I'm gonna choose the people that I think you should check out and subscribe to because I really think that they are good at what they do. And you will enjoy them. So anyway, uh, first one on the list, as you can probably guess, uh, the first one is Lunacy05, uh, who is Stanley Lynn. Um, what can I say about Lunacy05? Well, he is probably one of the most informative reviewers on YouTube that I've ever seen. Um, he will go into a lot of depth regarding the toy and all of its um, articulation and detail and whatnot. Um, aside from that, he is also a collector of mainly a lot of uh, Marvel and DC figures. And I know, and I know he's a GI Joe fan. So if you're a fan of GI Joe, it's definitely worth subscribing to him. Um, but aside from that, he, I, I enjoy what he has to say. He is very, he is very informative. He does have a lot of good opinions regarding the said toy. And aside from that, he's just really entertaining to watch. I know that he does he occasionally does Q and A's. I haven't asked I haven't really asked any questions, but what are you gonna do? Uh, but so anyway, yeah, uh, Lunacy05, definitely check him out. He I know that he hit the 600 subscriber mark, so well done, because it's it's very well deserved that you managed to hit 600 subscribers. Because seriously. I had a conversation with him a while ago saying that he should that he should apply for partner because he is a a what, what's the word underground reviewer or something like that but nonsense I th I think that if if anyone can be informative and in depth in their own reviews they can be but I think that if um if Lunacy or Five should apply for partner then I think he should because he is really that I think he is really that in depth and he really deserves that attention. I know that he's in a circle of I know that he's in that circle of friends of people like reviewers like Sports Wolf Three and uh Mike Mouse seventy four who I already promoted ages ago. But yeah, so anyway, uh, let me see your five. Definitely definitely check him out. Uh second person is somebody that I've been watching a while ago and who I find Well, she isn't really a reviewer as such, but she's someone that I really enjoy watching. Uh the second person is uh, Helen the Melon Six, uh, who is Helen Worley. Um, there's not really a mu there's not really much I can say about her regarding what she has done because I know that she has recently been bitten by the whole reviewing bug, like P 
people who want to start out in reviewing and who do a very good job. Uh, Helen, especially. Um, aside from being a very good reviewer, because I, I know that she put up a review of, uh, what was it, um, the review, no, the Legends Gold Bug or Bumblebee, I, th I, th I think it's Gold Bug, but a, a lot of people often say that it, it looks like Gold Bug, when in fact it is Bumblebee. But, um, she put up reviews of, uh, Half of the Decepticons, Hailstorm, and the Wolf Cybertron Prime, which is a bitch to transform. I should know, because I reviewed it, and I still have a problem with that toy. Aside from it being a good toy, I still have the tendency to throw it against the wall, because it's annoying. But aside from Transformer reviewing, which she started out and she's getting very good at, she also does rants and vlogs. And never let it be said by anyone that anyone can do a rant video and make it good, because I think Helen, of all people, manages to make it good. Because what she has to say is very blunt, what she has to say is very honest, and what she has to say actually is very enjoyable to listen to. So, if you enjoy rants or vlogs, depending on what type of video you're into, and especially if you're into reviews like the ones that Helen does, well, they aren't... I don't want to say they aren't reviews, because at the same time they are, because... It's just transforming the toy, but at the same time, though, I still think that she's really good at what she does. And I can see that if she keeps up reviewing toys, preferably Transformers, um, I can see a very long and very good reviewing hobby career ahead of her. So, definitely, if you're into anything like that, subscribe to Helen the Melon 6. Uh, third and final person on the list is someone that I really think you all should subscribe to, because... Like most people on YouTube, there are those who get the most attention who deserve it, and there are those who are great at what they do but don't get any attention at all. This is one of those people. The last person that I want to talk about is, I think you should all check out, is the Freelancer 2236. If you don't know who the Freelancer 2236 is, let's just say he is up there amongst... um great reviewers and uh, geeks alike. Well, okay, when I say reviewers, he doesn't, he doesn't really do reviews as such, he does showcases, and those showcases include mainly uh, DC figures, mainly from the classic Seaman line. What was it? Was, uh, well, sorry. Uh, aside from DC figures, he also does reviews of the classic Seaman line. I know that I already uh, promoted someone who does reviews of the classic Seaman line or Python 77. If you haven't checked him out already. Um, aside from that, he's also a big fan of, uh, of video games and good anime as well. And aside from video games, I know that he did a review or playthrough of Persona 4, which, which surprisingly enough, I went out and bought. Which I haven't even started playing because video games and me work in very weird ways. Because I'll buy a video game... I will leave it on the on the shelf for a very long period of time. I won't play it. I won't touch it for for nearly over a year. And when I'm playing a game that I'm too busy to to get off and start something else, um, I will stay on that for a very long time. And I won't start the game that I bought until I finish the series or game or whatever. And that's good. But anyway, yeah, uh, I know that he did a review. I know that he did a playthrough of Persona Four. I know that he's a big fan of the Shin Megami Tensei series. And really, who isn't? The Shin Megami Tensei series is probably one of the very few RPG games that I would consider to be good. Well, RPG series, because bearing in mind there's uh, Digital Devil Saga and so many other games I can mention in that series. But aside from that, he, um, I made him an intro a while ago, and in answer to your question, because he was wondering how... I, he was wondering how I knew that he liked things like X, which is meant by Clamp. Um, he has a VO channel. So that explains why, because in, cause in, cause in your interests, I don't know if you're watching, but in your interests, it said that you like Clamp, it said that you like Escaflone, and it said that you like various 80s trinkets. So yeah, um, aside from that, he also is a man who wears a lot, who wears good sunglasses. And a hat. I could probably explain why I'm always wearing sunglasses in it whenever I'm doing a video like this, but I'm wearing sunglasses because I want to. Sorry. But yeah, um, if you're, if you if you enter anything like just video games, anything from 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 the nostalgic era, uh, definitely check out the Freelancer Two Two Three Six. 
So, yeah, that's all I can say about that. Three people that I really think you should check out because they are enjoyable to watch. They are great people who I think that deserve a lot more subscribers than they get. If you're into G.I. Joe, subscribe to Lindsay or 5. If you're into just rants and vlogs and just just having a laugh, because that, that's who she is, subscribe to Hell in the Melon 6. Um, the Freelancer 2236, definitely subscribe to him. He needs a lot more attention. He doesn't get enough. And by God, let it never be said that people... That, that there are some people on YouTube who are who are intelligent and who can make good videos, because there are. Um, it's just a case of finding them. But if you're into anything like uh, DC or Classic T Man, get, definitely subscribe to the definitely subscribe to the Three Nights of Two Three Six. But yeah, uh, that's it for me for a little while. Um, I'm gonna go on a break for a while because I kind of want to get uh, I kind of want to take a little break from YouTube at the moment for various reasons. I'm not gonna go into any details to what they are. Um, I'll have reviews and whatnot ready. I know that I, I, bu I bought some toys a while ago that I want to try and review, and I'm looking forward to getting them out of the way. So as soon as I review those, I'll talk about them. But, but aside from that, though, uh, thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all soon. Take care.